Hey everybody, welcome to Undertale, and we're going to do the genocide run today. So, what happens is, we have played this before, we've done the pacifist, uh, we've done the neutral and the pacifist run, but that was before I reformatted my drive and probably lost the save files. I don't know if anything changes, because I don't have all three, but, you know... Name the fallen human. Well, we we know what our name is. We know what our name is. Yes. So I hope I'm not losing any like, oh, I remember you from before kind of stuff. I'm afraid I am, but well. Oh, wait a minute. Can I even do the genocide run first? If it doesn't remember me, I can't do the genocide run first, can I? Uh, I guess I'll try. Fly with the flower. I'll look it up in a few minutes. Once I get past this uh, intro area. This route's ending can occur without pri- Oh, perfect. Thanks, Lithigrish. It's a little old. A lot of love. I don't think I had a chance to do this like this the second time. Poor Flowey. Little does she know that she's a monster. So I'm pretty sure the first part that starts a genocide run is, uh... Once I get to the first area where random encounters will occur. And the best way to do it is to simply go through... If the moment I can random encounter, walk back and forth and fight everything until I no longer get an encounter. That's the safest way to uh, complete this run successfully. Oh, I'm a fucking pro. <laughs> you 
you understand basic English and instruction. Congratulations! Stall for time. Hmm. I don't know, that doesn't sound very... That doesn't sound very fun. Oh, I never did this minigame. Or I very rarely did that minigame. So this is actually going to be a little tougher than just replaying again. Can I solve this bullshit? Potentially. Oh, here we go. So I have to get it right in the center. My love increased! Oh man, that's fantastic! Oh, the save lets me know? Perfect, Abyssal. Alright, well, as long as I don't leave this room, I might as well continue with what she wants. Oh, it wants me to follow the... No, 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 I don't. Pretty sure I can't even get hurt, can I? On these spikes? Every random counter can shoot. Yes. Alright, well. This run is a tiny bit of a grind, just to my knowledge. But once you get it going, everything changes, including the music. So that's something to look forward to. Uh, I finished Homestuck. Actually. Isn't this game. Don't. Isn't one of the main creators or co creators or artists. Uh, by someone from Homestuck. Which is why the fish lady's one of her faces, I'm like, oh my god, that's Homestuck for sure. Hmm. I know that random encounters were a little more frequent in the next room. This whole section up to the exit. Okay. Toby Fox, yes. Okay. God, I love this game. Okay, yeah, then I'll just I'll just walk forward a bit. In fact, I'll walk to the end of this hall by myself. <laughs> it was me here the all the time. learn what she was actually doing by ignoring me. Here we go. I never... I've tried so many times to beat, to beat Earthbound, and it's not like it's a hard game. I just... I could never stick with it long enough. It's a long game, and I would always get just distracted by something else, you know? Here we go. Whoop. For killing every enemy except one. Really? Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, now I can't take any more. I'm a monster. I know there's a weapon at the end of this area as well. Hmm. So I can try and get just her minus one. Or... <laughs> I'll try to kill everyone but one. Oh, it's not telling me yet. It must be quite a few. I'll just... Oh. I'll just keep walking forward a bit. No reason to stay in this one area. Froggit can get wrecked. That's what Froggit can do. Oh yeah, I gotta do this puzzle again. If you can call it a puzzle. That one's not a puzzle. <laughs> Let's go with cinnamon. <laughs> and she just force feeds me cinnamon. I wonder if you get more damage if you're perfectly center, as opposed to just... Like, I'm slightly off-center there. I'm in the green, but I'm not completely 100% middle. <sighs> Can I remember? Nope, not at all. Oh, it's all the way to the wall. Okay, what's this say? Fuck you. Look at what I'm doing. Oh, get wrecked. So, pretty much this first area is gonna be exactly the same as if this was a regular run. Oh. Oh, it's one. Okay. I thought I'd mind wasting time here. What's really cool is if you do like this soundtrack, you can find it for free online. And if you like it enough, you can always support the artist and actually pay for it. Like, I think he hosts it for free, and then you can buy the soundtrack if you want. Something like that. I wonder if I get any new abilities at any point. Whoa, whoa. It's been a while. That did more damage, for sure. Scorch. Hey, leveled up! We just have so much love in our hearts.
no timer, or no, uh... This cheese has been eaten quite a long time. There must be a lot of things to kill left. Left to kill. Oh, including this ghost! <laughs> Move it with lots of force. Oh, love this song. Oh, he's got a lot of health. Whoa, -ho -ho. hey now. I don't remember that. I don't think I ever fought him. I don't think he would ever... <laughs> I just don't remember that attack at all. He might not attack if you're doing uh, passive. Oops. Ah. Uh. <laughs> That's great. I lost an experience point? Interesting. Is this the... Wait, well, you can buy some spider stuff here. Uh, I'm gonna say no. I want to know what happens with the spider fight if I never buy anything from a spider. Of spiders. Made. Eat food made of spiders. I guess I can't kill this one. Oh, okay. I don't think... Huh, alright. Hmm. It's bad. Eh, doesn't matter. It's great. <laughs> okay, so if I had regretted my decision, I could always change it. I don't know if I ever actually had a problem with, like, inventory space. Does this one have the ghost? No. Oh, I want to go to the left anyway. Vegetoid. Ah, oh, so close. For some reason, I did not expect them to bounce. Oh, guess we get a little bit of armor there.
I wonder if... <laughs> if your uh, attack meter thing changes speed at some point. Oh, it turns it from yellow to pink. That's funny. I'm never going to see that, but, you know. Bottom right. I'm just going to do all, all six, because we're trying to kill time anyway. But I couldn't eat the vegetable themed uh, monsters. I mean, why not, right? Uh, it simply marks a rotation in perspective. Should actually be paying attention to what it wants. What do you want this time? Oh, I did that one. What do you want this time? Oh. I don't know what color this is. Okay. Uh, I'd rather kill the Vegetoid first. Though we might have more. Yeah, he has too much health. Whoops. I don't think he actually does- yeah, he doesn't actually challenge me on that one. Oh, I ran. <laughs> the attack where the enemy does nothing, I still got hit by it. Congrats, me. Now, Toriel's up there, I do believe. But there's a toy knife over here. Yeah, here we go. There we go. And I think there's also a save before we go into the house. No number yet, so let's just keep walking around. Let's see how many people I actually have to kill. there's an area that's more uh, populated than the rest. Or if each of these rooms are different. I don't think they're different. Wait. 
Oh, there's only two frogs now. By the by. Oh, it went from the right. The knife, I think, makes it go faster. Yeah. I guess your weapon... <laughs> They're all dead. They're all dead. Nope. Not enough, though. Yeah, Frosty, maybe he ran out in front of all the others. He knew there was a storm coming. Not everything is dead, just all those frogs. We'll only know everything's dead until we... Or once we get an encounter and nothing comes. <laughs> you know, Frosty, I mean, if everything's dead, it's stealthy, right? So we got the stealth part done. It's kind of like how I play uh, Dishonored. You just, you just choke people out and stash their bodies in corners, and it's stealthy for some reason. The violent stealth, the game. That's a pacifism. I mean, we're doing them a favor here, right? I mean, they are monsters. So I'll, I'll call that pacifist. <laughs> Oops. Oh, shit. I didn't want to go back this way. Oh, well. So I'll go through every single room. Uh, fine. That's a good question, Frosty. But if the rock died, I wouldn't be able to get across the spikes. The frogs may be the tell for you killing everything. The tell is supposed to be... You get an encounter, but nothing shows up. Also, the save file is supposed to show you. Or supposed to tell you. But... If someone wants to look that up and verify, that would be great. But, we haven't had an encounter in a while. actually walk in circles. Okay. Looks like I'm playing that fucking uh, DDR for the computer game. I forget what it's called. Uh, 
Oh, whoops. So I, I went in circles in the wrong place. I can definitely get it here. The human's just fucking wigging out on bloodlust. He's gotta find something to kill. But he can't find it. Oh, there we go. God, why did that take so long? Well, it's probably because the game wants you to be very sure you know what you're doing. Yeah, that knife is a huge increase. Just be yourself. Okay, I will be myself. Migosp. Myself wants to murder you. Yeah, Abyssal. So, we're still just kind of... Just kind of getting some exercise, that's all. At least the music is fantastic. That makes everything better, to be honest. Oh. Heed the swarm. Armed locally. Nope, music's still just fine. The world doesn't yet realize that I'm a murderer. It's probably getting suspicious at this point, but it's not quite sure. It's like, you know what? No, maybe he's just defending himself. Or she. It's hard to actually tell when you look at this. I don't know if the game ever confirms boy or girl. Honestly, you could see it either way. Could be a boy with just longer hair, or it's just a... It's just a girl. It's too hard to tell. I hope that's actually what was done on purpose. I hope there's not actually an answer to that. Okay, we're gonna switch hands, because this is getting a little tedious. What if my controller would work? Oh well. Oh. <laughs> That's great. Let's just listen to that for a second. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> it just says determination. It's not telling me any enemies left, though. Oh, and everything's fine. Uh oh. You, you made the butterscotch, even though I told you, distinctly told you, Toriel, I didn't like butterscotch. You'll pay for that. I'm gonna go. No. I don't think there's anything to find in here. Pretty sure.
right, let's take a peek. <laughs> they don't interest you at all. That's such a nice touch. <laughs> God. Uh, this game really is great. Yeah. It's the me, a snake. Look at that! That's amazing! Oh my god, that's just fucking... I love this kind of thing. When you completely change the gameplay, little extra notes like that pop up that's so fucking cool. There's no need to tip her off, you know? Wow, that's clever. <laughs> oh, right. Wait, what? File down to make them safer. You could put your hands inside. That's odd. Seventy-two uses for snails. Sure. <laughs> wow, her mouth animation was going nuts. I don't know if it was always doing that, but it looked like it was going nuts for a second there. Oops, my key. Hands were off the keys. Fire magic, I see. Hey, Emma Duck. Thanks. I mean, you can call me a dork anyway. I'm. It's fair. It would be a fair statement. Let's say, just to make sure. Since we did a little bit of dialogue. And now we can try to leave. Oh, that's not good. No. Lady. Toriel. Now, when we're talking about protection, who needs to be protected from who? I guess I did skip the piece of pie. Holy shit! What?
Wow, that was fucking awesome. Because that's not what happens on the normal run. You have to hit her a few times. I Yeah, I broke her heart. Hey, Flowey. <laughs> 